Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss what a stored procedure with a returned value in Microsoft SQL Server. So, I already discussed about the output parameter. So, this video, I'm going to discuss a stored procedure with return value. Now, here I'm using the table escort.emp. Now, here after I'm going to create the one stored procedure. So, add here we need to use create procedure. And here give the meaningful name. So going to create the procedure with the return parameter. So add here giving emp read. Now here after let's give parameter. So add here giving the parameter name emp id. And that must be integer time. Our store procedure can only return it is a value so that we are going to take i and t now here after let's use as begin and here after going to use print no count on now here after going to use declare and at the rate exit So going to take or uh, declare exits and here after that should be integer time. Now here after if so add here going to use exits operator if exits. Now here going to use select so going to select add here emp number from escort dot emp table. And here the condition is emp number so emp number inside is called dot emp table you can find so that should be equal to parameter of emp id so you can find so if you take the cursor at this point so add here this is the parameter emp id so this is the condition now here after again going to use begin so if the condition is match, then at here going to set at the rate exits. So exits is the parameter going to set with one. Now here after let's use end and here begin again. So if the condition is no any value match, then that will return at here exits equal to 0 now here after let's use end and here after let's return exit at the rate exit parameter now close again okay. close by end so let's so execute this query to get the store procedure with the name emp rate. So there are no any error and procedure is created. Refresh that. So see and here emp read procedure is created. Now here after going to or check is it working fine or not. So add here we need to use declare and declare one. A parameter or val and that should be integer time now here after exe and here or val equal to emp rate emp rate now so add here we need to pass the parameter so see add here no i'm not going to pass so add here going to use select and here at the rate or val. So add here it's so uh, uh, getting the error. The error reason is procedure of function emp except parameter. So there should be one parameter must be essential. Or uh, because add here when at the time of creating the procedure I passed I've created I've taken one parameter emp id. 
So add here, I'm going to give the value like this of 6785. Now here after if you add skewed, so definitely that will return the value 0 because so if you check add here inside EMP table, so you cannot find the value 6758. So you cannot find the EMP number 6758. So if you check, you cannot find. So that here, if you execute, so definitely you are getting the error zero. Error means so it uh, the value is not matching, then that return zero. Now suppose add here, oh, I'm going to pass some matching value. So add here this time going to pass 7369. 7369 going to pass. Now here after let's execute that. So see at here 7369. Why I'm getting the zero value again? So at here I'm getting the error message because at here I forget to one point. So at here or oh, if this condition is true, so that will return one. So if the condition if the value is 7369 that exits then the value to 1 so here I forget to give as part okay so as part if for this condition is not true so that go to the as part then that return 0 now here after I'm going to delete to add here the parameter to store procedure now I'm going to create again So command completed successfully. Now here after let's execute that. So see at here this time getting the expected output 7369. So 7369 returning because the value of 7369 hits the percent at here. Now suppose if I enter like value of 7800. So this time this value is not to inside EMP number so that definitely it gives a uh, zero value so this is the thing and here after so add here let's give uh, this time 7499 and one more thing a store procedure always return integer so that return only integer value so 7499 hits so uh, inside EMP number so if you execute then that is returning 1 because 7499 7, it's inside there 7499 9, you can find somewhere look at this 7499 9, it's a percent so that here it's returning 1 so if the matching value found then that return 1. If the matching value is not 1, then that return 0. Suppose at here I have taken only 1 parameter. So if you pass 2 parameter, like uh, going to pass another parameter. Now it's uh, showing the error, incorrect syntax near 5, 6, 7. So that means uh, if you declare uh, 1 parameter, so that definite, definitely you have to pass only pa 1 parameter. Then you will get the expected output. So this is the things about to uh, restore procedure with the return value. So this is the one simplest example. And here uh, restore procedure can only return integer value, and you cannot use uh, it for returning value of any other data. So this is the constant about the uh, restore procedure, restore procedure with return value. So about the exits I already discussed and about these things I discussed in my previous videos of store procedure and this all point I already explained. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.